friends, everyone. I have some dandelions here. Years ago, when I first met Kenton, one of the very first things we ever did together was go out to a big, giant field of dandelions and pluck all the heads off, and we made dandelion wine together. So fast forward 30-some years here, and one of you out in our YouTube family sent a recipe a French recipe, I don't even exactly know how to say it, but we can put a link to it, using dandelion flowers. So we're gonna try it, even though we don't necessarily have all the right ingredients or even know how to make it. We're just gonna be little guinea pigs in the kitchen. So some of us love dandelions because they're so bright and cheerful. We collected these yesterday. Ideally, you would make this right away after you plucked them, but we were uh, farther south collecting these, so they had to wait until today. But people are starting to find, research is starting to find, some really unique properties of the actual dandelion flower itself. Not only is it high in polyphenols and antioxidants, but they're really finding that it has some strong anti-cancer properties and anti-inflammatory properties. So just another great reason to do something with dandelion flowers. The first thing we're doing after we've picked the dandelion flowers is that we're removing all of the petals we're going to try to get all these little green bits out too because we want it to turn a nice, beautiful, sunny yellow color. Now we're plucking all the flower petals just out like so, but if they were fresher, you could even just take and cut them and then separate out the little green sepals too. So there's a couple different ways to do it. Since I have help, we're just going to do this method. I've already confessed that I'm not following the recipe properly. So we have our flowers in here, our petals. And I've added a little bit of water to that. I'm gonna add some more. How much water? Well, I feel like I need to add enough to cover the petals here and get them immersed. I feel as if this is not quite enough yet, although they really wanna float. But I'm gonna just keep adding water till I feel like it's right. How's it's that? not a fixed amount, you're making an well, infusion. So we can put a link to the recipe and there are more specific directions, but I didn't follow that. The other thing they want us to include in the recipe is some lemon. I'm gonna use the juice of half a lemon, possibly even a little more, and then some apple slices. And we're gonna put all of that in the water and boil it. got everything, our mixture. We're going to turn this on and ideally bring it to a boil, then turn it down and simmer it for about a half an hour or so. Again, this is my experiment, so kind of crazy. We're going to strain it now. Point, we would add something called gelling sugar, especially because this recipe comes from Europe. I don't have access to gelling sugar right now, so I'm going to actually use gelatin and I'm going to maybe put a little bit of maple syrup or honey in here for some sweetness. Note that if you are vegetarian, you could make this with pectin or some other alternative instead. We're going to add some of our own handcrafted maple syrup. You're just doing this to taste? I think so. We'll put a little in, see how it is, and then add more if we need to. We add in the gelatin, and then we're just going to pour these into the, some molds. What are these used for? Well, they're used for all sorts of different things. People put them on their bread. I like to think of them more as I'm getting both my gelatin and I'm getting a whole bunch of good things from the dandelion flower petals. What are we going to do with them? Eat them little by little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try them. Okay, here we go. They don't taste like anything. Uh-uh. I told No, wait, wait, wait. It was very subtle. Mm -hmm. It was really strong when it first came out and it was warm. 
but it almost does. Somebody said in one of the things, obviously we made this with gelatin, but that if you were vegan, you could use this as honey, and it almost has, because of that flowery quality. It has a honey flavor. Does it almost have a little, here, try a little bit more, Lily. Imagine honey. Tell me honey. if you think it has a little bit of a honey flavor to That's it. Very crazy. mild, very it's mild honey. honey. It is very much a honey flavor. Good, I'm gonna go get more. I was worried that it wouldn't come out very, uh, I mean, you showed a picture of that. Yeah. I was worried it wouldn't come out very yellow because we added maple syrup to it, so that kind of turned it more brown. Uh, but when you pull it out and you cut it and you shine the light to it, it is kind of a goldeny color. Mm -hmm. It's very much like honey mm -hmm. because the dandelion flower has that slight mm -hmm. honeyish flavor mm -hmm. tinge of it, and That's then you good. add the maple That's syrup. Very mild. We didn't overly sweeten it either. We it's it's just sweet enough to have a. You can almost think it was the dandelion petals that had the sweetness to it. Mm. Yeah. So uh, it's, this is neat. It's fun. Wow. <laughs> well, we'll include the link to the recipe that was sent to us that we mildly followed but i would love to hear if you've done anything with dandelions especially dandelion flowers in particular and just to hear it's so fun to try these things yeah it's i remember that dandelion wine finally no oh, you're trying to get that them out many of it. years ago <laughs> <laughs> is it good <laughs> our poor molds it wasn't the gelatin wasn't quite strong enough to come out perfectly yeah. beautiful but that's why we get to try it again. Hey, Marlo. All right. Try tell it us again. That was tedious. <laughs> what you are baking. <laughs> tedious. Well, the girls with, helped me pluck out all of the petals, true. which it took was. us a while. <laughs> with dandelions, we really want to hear about it. All right. Happy spring. Mwah. Love to you all. <laughs>